Hey guys, welcome back. What is, what is this? Welcome back. Today I'm going to be doing a Sephora collective haul from Appreciation Week and some other times and also talk to you about how I save a little bit of money on Sephora because let's get real. Sephora gets super expensive. First I'm going to talk about Ebates. If you want to see about Appreciation Week, you can go to this minute mark and if you want to see me haul and stuff, you can go to this minute mark. So Ebates. If you didn't know what Ebates is, it's pretty much a website where you can shop different retailers and it gives you a certain percentage cash back. Also, they have coupons to use on those websites. Pretty much a combination of cash back and retail me not fused together. Win-win. Sephora is normally 4% back. Sometimes they offer a double cash back to make it 8% and sometimes, like on their anniversary, they offered 16% cash back. So how it works is you go on the website, you find your retailer that you want to shop in, click on the website and it stays there. All you have to do is buy something after you click the link. It's within the like it's within that shopping window. If you try to combine another cashback deal like say if I'm trying to go through Chase and try to do double cashback that way, it's not going to work. You have to be within that visit. You shop, you instantly get credit for your cashback and then you get your cashback Quarterly. That's one thing that I didn't know when I signed up. You get it quarterly. So I just got my check. Let me go get it. Oh my god, so unprepared. Alright, I'm back. So this is my check from Ebates. The check is in there. I don't want to show my information or their information or anything. Albeit it is just 13 bucks, but that's better than nothing. That's still cash back to your wallet. So now I can cash this now, so... Other ways you can make money on Ebates, if you refer people, you can get $25 or more per person if they make a $25 purchase. So no one makes any commission unless you make a $25 purchase. Anyone can join, anyone can refer anybody. You don't have to be a YouTuber to refer other people. If you don't want to use my link down below, which I will list, you can definitely ask one of your friends for their email address and they can refer you. And if you don't want anybody to refer you, you don't have to. But when you do make your purchase, you do get a $10 gift card to a retailer such as Walmart. Some affiliated sites that they have, you get a gift card that way. They also send that to you in the mail. I use mine quick. I use mine on lipsticks. I think that's all I have to say about Ebates. Pretty much it really is a rebate. And I also get 1% cash back when I spend on my credit card. So that's extra cash back. Also, if my credit card, they offer more cash back, I'm gonna go with my credit card. Let's just be real, gonna do it that way. The other thing I want to talk about was Sephora Appreciation Week where they gave two times the points to beauty insiders, they gave three times points to VIBs, and then they gave four points to Rouge. I kind of missed the window by a couple minutes. Sephora, thank goodness, gave me the points anyway, so really thankful for that. I don't know why I'm still just a beauty insider. I should be at least a VIB by now. But hey, 350 in one year, come on Sephora. Some people can't do that. <laughs> I think I have a problem with the card that I'm using to spend in store and also the card I'm using online. So, what did I get? I got two things. I'm so excited. Finally, this video is starting. I got the Anastasia Beverly Hills Shadow Couture World Traveler Eyeshadow Palette. And I was really avoiding getting anything from Anastasia. I've given them enough of my money already. I walked past this in Sephora and I stopped because Sephora normally doesn't carry anything else but brow stuff. Sometimes they'll carry eyeshadows. Oh my god, just look at it. Look at it. I can't. Can we just? I'm so dead. I resurrected and I am making this video from the grave. I'm so dead. This is everything. When I swatched this in store, I was so freaking excited. Ooh, oops, the <laughs> brush fell out. So I'm really excited about some of these colors. I'm especially excited for Intense Gaze, Pink Champagne, Fudge, the Azure color. 
really nice. I don't know if I'm going to wear that day to day. The noir color, oh my god. That makes me so excited about black again because I haven't been using black in my eyeshadow looks forever. I'm just all around excited for this. I'll list how many are limited edition and how many are permanent right along here or something. It's just, oh my god. And this brush, I haven't even felt this brush yet. They have a dual fiber side and a blending side. Really excited about that. Yeah, these look promising, so definitely going to use that for on the go. Ooh, I'm so excited. Like, you even know it. I'm so excited about this. Consistency is so smooth. Pigmentation on deck. I highly recommend this. This was only 30 bucks for all these shadows, and it is limited edition, so if you haven't gotten it yet and you want to get it, get it, girl. Or boy. Of course, girl logic. I had to get enough get free shipping so that means 50 bucks and I was shopping around I love getting value sets like I live for value sets on Sephora I got the Too Faced most loved box and it comes with a Too Faced hangover hangover X I think a Too Faced shower insurance I just said I was gonna stop using this but hey if I have it I have it the chocolate Soleil the Too Faced melted and the better than sex mascara all these things are things I want to try oh my gosh like how did they know <laughs> I did get the melted lipstick and melted fig I'm really excited to try this uh, how much was this I don't know it was like 20 something dollars this is a really good deal for all this stuff I didn't even look at the things that I got. Come out, come out, or everyone. Yo, this isn't cooperating. But I love getting the sample size of mascaras. I use this up within the time that you're supposed to use it up. These are fairly good sizes, right? I like these. Chocolate Soleil, come out. And here's the Chocolate Soleil. It's about that size. <laughs> it won't come off the plastic. Since I'm not a rouge, my sister, she gave me this. With $50 purchase, you got this makeup bag with deluxe sample sizes. And she took a couple out of here, but I just wanted to share some of this. It came with a Marvelous Moxie from Bare Minerals Lip Gloss in Maverick. Cora's Wild Rose Advanced Brightening Sleeping Facial. That's really nice. And a sample size of the Professional really looking forward to that this chloe eau de parfum oh i really like this this uh fresh rose face mask really excited about that formula x sheer strength sheer nail color so this is screaming sheer this doesn't have a color this is called wondrous wondrous for their 16 year anniversary they were offering 16 percent back on certain retailers on certain days so i of course caught sephora on their day so i just bought a couple things because you know your girl be kind of broke sometimes i just bought these three things very small sample size things and i got the laura mercier secret brightening powder I'm a little disappointed in myself for getting this. When I went to Sephora like a separate time, she told me that the secret brightening powder is just for the under eyes, so I should have gotten the translucent. I was on the fence about getting either or. I will tell you that I have used the translucent universal powder on my eyelids to set my soft ochre paint pot, and I love it for that. Sorry, my conditions are being just disrespectful. The sun want to go down on me. Hello. So lighting change and, you know memory card keeps going out whatever 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 so anyway if you want to get your under eye highlight snatched definitely gonna try this one out yeah next thing I got from that event was the bumble and bumble prep et powder dry shampoo it's equal parts dry shampoo style extender and volume in a pinch I'm really excited about this I didn't know it was gonna be this small but hey that's what you get when you don't know how much 0.5 ounces <laughs> Definitely excited about this to get my second day hair on fleek. Because I look at some people, I'm like, how you do your second hair day like that? Because I can't. Mine looks really greasy. I don't understand it at all. Next thing I got was the number 12 brush from Anastasia Beverly Hills. It's not often. I got this from the Sephora website just to get more Sephora points and for cash back. So why not? 
I just got this to use with my dip brow and also my waterproof cream color in jet. Don't know which one is going to work better with this, but definitely excited to use that and definitely a better spoolie. I need a new spoolie. So I got it. I also want to point out some of the great samples that they gave out at that time too. I got the Bosha... I got the Bosha Subaki. <laughs> I'm not Japanese. I'm sorry. I got the Bosha Subaki oil infused exfoliating powder and this is a very, very generous sample really generous for a sample. Oh my god, and it's open. Oh my god, that's kind of scary. It wasn't sealed at all. There's some stuff in it. Oh, I can't carry this around. People are going to think I have cocaine or something. Oh, definitely not going to go to the airport with that. No. So I also got a Dior Show Mascara. And this one, I assume is in black. I hope it's in black. Parfum Christian Dior in pro black yes it's black need that because i have black hairs are you gonna open oh there you go big old brush dang i shouldn't have opened that oh well i'm gonna have to use that now because i opened it all right last items were from the store you know when the bay wants to get you stuff First thing I got was this Too Faced Lip Insurance. I haven't tried this before, but it's supposed to be for smoothing, anti-feathering, and a lip primer. And I'm going to use this for lipsticks that don't really stick too well on the lips to make it last longer, etc, etc. Ooh, it comes in this little thing. I don't want to open it because then I'll have to use it after I open it, so sorry. But I'm assuming this comes with a brush. Like a doe foot applicator or a brush? I don't know. I'll show a picture here. I also got the Smashbox Photo Finish Pore Minimizing Primer. And this one is more of that beige colored primer. This was $15. If you're going to buy any of the primers, definitely try to find the travel size because when you do the math, this is cheaper. Funny, isn't it? I also have the photo finish primer, which I like a lot as well. But I definitely prefer the photo finish primer over the pore minimizing one. Because my pores aren't that big. And it just, it kind of just sits in my pores. And just has this awkward beige dots all over my face. So I also got this Glam Glow Power Mud Dual Cleanse Treatment. I tried this once. This is what it looks like on the inside. It kind of smells like shampoo, if that makes any sense. It kind of smells like... I'm kind of, I'm trying to put my finger on what kind of shampoo. Like suave? I could be wrong. I don't know. Don't take my word on it. When I use this in conjunction with my other Glam Glow products, oh my god. My face felt so clean. And I think it was because of this. So, like that one. The last product I have because I just wanted a Chanel product on my counter. <laughs> don't hate me. I'm just a girl, okay? This one is the Chance Au Tendre. I need to take a French class. My French teacher before said, if it don't hurt the back of your throat, you're not saying it right. So this is what it looks like. This is the small one, and this one is $60. $60 for this. Oh, it's so cute. It's pink. And this is the only scent that I actually liked. Every other one of them, to me, it smelled like old lady. This is the only one that really stood out to me. It's described as a younger scent, so there you go. They even admit that it's a younger scent and it also has notes of white musk and jasmine, I believe. So it's a really sweet floral scent. So if you're looking for that, definitely pick this one up. I love this. Oh, it's going to look so cute on my makeup tray. Love you. Is that it? Yeah, I think that's it. Alright guys, that was my Sephora Collective Haul. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure you give it a big old thumbs up. And subscribe if you haven't already, if you like. Make sure to follow me on social media. I'm on Instagram. I'm on all of them. Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, all that. It's all down below at Makeup Animal if you want to mosey on over. Thank you so much for watching. And until next time, guys, keep it cute. Bye! My...
Let's get real. All right. Oh God. Oh my God. I just wanna look good for you, good for you. Oh, oh. Open. 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 <laughs> Breathe, breathe, breathe. 